What is up, killers? Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Five New Console Mods to hit the professor on our website this week. This is going to be episode 605 within my series. But without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Cerise Armor UNP coming in at 14.5 megabytes of a download. This mod adds Serene's Armor from Witcher 3 into Skyrim. You can find it in sort of a set location. Won't give that away. I want you guys to have a little look at the description if you do want to grab it. But if you've got the materials to make it like me, then you pretty much can. Go within any particular forge and it is going to be under the leather category. It's going to be coming in three different pieces of this particular armor and you can upgrade it via the workbench but if you don't have the requirements as i said before i do encourage you to have a look at the description on the professor not website as it gives you a set location very easy location too somewhere located near riverwood and you can pretty much pick up this particular set for absolutely nothing but if you do have the materials crack on this armor does look absolutely beautiful as you can tell on screen now the models meshes and textures are going to be looking absolutely perfect some would say almost ripped from witcher 3 I'm not too sure, but this is looking absolutely finesse. Guys, if you're hungry for that Witcher vibe still within Skyrim, this one, but the females, we got you covered. Break of Dawn, coming in at 4.4 megabytes of a download. This mod adds a new silver weapon into the game called Break of Dawn, which is lightly inspired by the Dawn Guard weapon. It is completely standalone. It can be crafted at any forge and does require the steel smithing perk to make. It also does require the silver ingots, quick silver ingots, and leather straps to craft. The stats are gonna be slightly better than ebony and honestly the overall incumbents for this particular blade for anyone even if you are playing law friendly or just a completely bonkers game i feel like this weapon fits in almost seamlessly within the base game guys if you're looking for a beautiful weapon not only is the models and measure textures are absolutely great you probably won't be able to see it on screen now via the footage but the whole blade itself is actually engraved it looks really nice indeed a few different variants of this particular blade and honestly it's a very nice Nice one to be added within your set. Armored Empire coming in at 1.8 kilobytes of a download. Not too much of a description on the Professor on the website for this particular mod, but what I can get for this particular or from this particular mod is personally that all of the soldiers are going to be in somewhat of a ranking system to do with that armor if you're a storm cloak and you are slaying these particular guys out in the world they will be ranked via armor lower leveled characters or npcs will be wearing that leather or that light imperial gear and as you go up people will be dressing via armor which is going to be bigger or if they are sort of mid to high tier they're going to be wearing the imperial helmet and thus going up and above beyond that particular set now i could only find some of these guys within that own camps being within a ranking system i wanted to see if a city did have this variant of particular ranking within the hold so i went to solitude to have a little look not too much has changed there personally it might have i can't really tell the difference between sort of ranked ones and lower tier ones they're all mixed in a very peculiar way but you can definitely tell who is sort of a higher enemy within those camps Ruby's Standing Stones 2K coming in at 58.9 megabytes of a download with full perms and permissions from the Bethesda.net website to head over to the Bethesda.net website. Guys, this is a really, really nice root texture of the Standing Stones. I couldn't actually believe this. Standing Stones HQ texture overhaul is going to be compatible with most of the Nordic runes that you do see within the base game. Visually, they look absolutely stunning. Maybe not so far away, they don't look anything significant, but as soon as you get closer, honestly some of the textures on the stone really really do pop they look absolutely gorgeous even though when you activate them there is going to be a different texture on that too it isn't just going to be visually just them standing there once upon active and you're using that particular sign on these particular nordic standing stones they will activate and produce that beautiful light which again is included within this particular mod Glorious White Run entrance coming in at 64.5 kilobytes of a download, a Nexus mods port from there 
to the Bethesda Night website for us to enjoy. After years of Skyrim, no matter what, the entrance of Whiterun remains this small, miserable path up to a beautiful city that has been altered and corrected with this particular mod. I will be keeping this one as the download size is really low. Definitely going to be a favourite, that is for sure. It just adds so many small but yet noticeable things going up to this particular hole. Not only does it add an abundance of beautiful different coloured trees, as well as a few other different standing implemented sort of uh, actual buildings themselves. It's very hard to sort of explain what is in there's just small details that are scattered around the entrance not only from the front facing but winding all the way up to the main gates themselves honestly guys grab this one if you're on xbox trust me it will definitely change your experience from going in and out if you are walking maybe you're not using a fast traveling system to white run this you'll notice a difference that is for sure so guys this is the end of this episode this has been episode 605 within my series guys if you did enjoy i'd very much appreciate a like on the video it does help me out an awful lot if you're new around or two why not consider clicking that subscribe button it's completely free and if you want to go above and beyond make sure to click that little bell icon you'll get a notification for every single time i post a video like this to the channel but guys until the next one this has been killer kev here and killer kev out